Whoever paints the best mystery box gets to win up to five grand. But there's a twist. Inside a forest, we hid a ton of other mystery boxes that contain supplies, gifts, and random things that they're gonna have to find first. And now we will be making a cool entrance by jumping out of a plane. They're telling us we have to drop out of the plane right now! This is the It's time to go, it's time to go! Alright guys, rules are simple. Once you get to the ground, grab your boxes and you can use whatever is inside. Ah! Wait, where's my parachute? My eyelashes! If you look in your bags, you have dodgeballs. I'll explain that on the ground. Any questions? Ah! Good! The time has officially started. Artists have to find boxes and bring them to their safe zones. If you tap or hit someone with your dodgeball, you can freeze them for five minutes and take one of their boxes. But they only have one chance to throw their dodgeball. Once they throw it, they cannot reuse it. I got one box! But for this challenge, there's a variety of boxes. Some of them have prizes in it. Some of them have art supplies. Right now, I think the strategy is just to find as many boxes as possible and acquire your collection. There's a giant one right over there. Mackenzie, you see anything down there? I just saw a spider. I'm tired. Ah. Ah. She's too far gone. Oh, no, no. I thought... This was a box. Ew. Never mind. It looks like it was a spider's home. Ugh. The rest of the stuff in here is not worth my time. Mama box. I think I have the least amount of boxes. I've been wasting too much time. Wish y'all had two gold boxes. Get away. I'm not trying to use my dog Stay away. I'm gonna go into the cabin and see if there's any more supplies here. Ah, 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 ah. Don't hit me! Wow. Ow. I saw another box over there! I would not survive PUBG Mobile IRL. I'm sweating just by running. Why are you running? Oh my gosh, there's a door in here. Heavy. Let's go in there. There are so many bugs over here. I hate bugs. Michelle, how many boxes do you have so far? Uh, probably like seven or eight. This is a pretty nice cabin. Okay. I think I'm gonna hide and I think I'm done with the challenge. I will be hiding here for the rest of the challenge. So that way, no one tries to hit me with the dodgeball and steal my box. Oh, it's really hot in here though. If I were you, I'd just hide at this point because you've got a big box. Three minutes, then. <laughs> Do you really think I could chase after Ben? Yes. Can I take a golf cart? Hey. Yep. Hey. Hey. Ben! Definitely think I have enough supplies. I'm not worried about finding any more boxes. Why would you put a box in poison ivy? This is just evil. I might have to hit Ben or Mackenzie with my ball to see what's in these giant boxes. What are you looking for over here? Oh, oh, my ball. Oh, you dropped your dodgeball. Yay! Yay! Ah! Yeah. I'll poke you right in your booty when you're running. And then you'll be like, and drop it. Ah! <laughs> this sucks. Keep going down there. Okay. Now, is this worth me getting tagged? I don't know. So I'm gonna have to very stealthily walk back to my spot. I see Ben back there. Go, 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 go. Hey. How much time is left? Don't! 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 You bitch! Nope! I need to wash my legs with soap just in case I touch poison ivy. I got a gold box, I'm happy. 
check it. My arm. It was honestly crazy out there, you know, everyone's sweating, but I got 13 boxes, including this bad boy, so I can't wait to see what's inside. I only have six boxes because I spent the entire time hiding because Michelle was trying to hunt me down. Now it's time to look at my loot. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. I have the color paint that I wanted, so I'm happy. I got purple, pink, teal. I got a couple of paint brushes from the mini boxes. I got this. What the f I don't know what's in the mystery box, but honestly, I think this is my favorite thing so far. A crowbar? I spent the entire time hiding for vegetable oil. That was in a big box? Yes. You got vegetable oil? Tell me what I used the dodgeball for. Oh my gosh. Oh, did I get this? You only get it if you win. Might as well throw this back in. All right, let's go. Now that everyone's got their tools and materials, we're heading back to the studio and they have only two hours to customize their PUBG Mobile loot boxes. Ben, what are you working on over here? I'm trying to draw a PUBG Mobile character right now. It's gonna be a mass PUBG Mobile character. I have high hopes. I'm doing a prayer shoot. Anything else? Uh, no. Jake, are you and Mackenzie painting the exact same thing? No, she's doing it in a neon way. Did I do it too far to the middle? Oh, okay. <laughs> Talk about not proportionate. <laughs> my sketch down for my mask character and I think it looks really good right now so now let's see it come together for winning the challenge you get this pan I think PUBG mobile really likes pans thank you with this pan you may give it to someone and they lose five minutes off of their total time whichever one of you guys also has a tool you guys can target someone as well someone can get a max of three tools Ben Pink. minus five minutes Jess who would you like to give your sickle to I'm so sorry, Ben. I'm gonna have to give you my sickle. Can I use it on someone? <laughs> Who are you giving your crowbar to? Well, it's it's between 10 minutes. So, what? Mackenzie and Ben, that means you guys have around 45 ish minutes left. Izzy, if you would like, you may go around and give each person one critique. I really like that. Yeah, thank you. Are you gonna do anything with the background? Jazzy, this is really nice. Maybe you could add like a pattern in the back or something while you're shooting off. Nice. <laughs> oh, cool. Guys, listen up. I'm thinking of a number. Two people that get closest will get to compete in something. One to 1,000. One. 599. 21. The number was 37. Jake and McKenzie come outside. Yeah! We are gonna throw 10 balls at Jake, and he's gonna try to deflect as many as possible. Whoever deflects the most balls gets something. Right, are you ready, Jake? Nope. All right, that's one. Nope. You're one out of three. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nope. Oh, you missed it. Seven out of ten. I'm gonna suck at this. Are you ready? No. First one. Yeah. That counts as one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, no. No. Yeah. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Jake, for winning, you get $500 to split with anyone else, and you get this pan, and you remember what happens with pans? Split the 500 with me, and then give the pan to Ben. Boy. I'll split the 500 with Mackenzie. Oh my gosh, Ben, you did so much. Stop, Stop. right there. I have 15 minutes total taken off him. I'll give you 60 seconds before you gotta finish. Ben, so much doing. We're done. You may go relax. Five, four, three, two, one. I can't write mobile if you don't let me finish. Okay, Jake, write PUBG Mobile. For this judging portion, unfortunately, Jazz wasn't feeling too good, so she had to go home. We will be judging the rest of yours. Then we will be starting with you. However, do you have some guest judges here? Colin and Samir, would you like to step up? <laughs> you guys will be our guest judges for today. Here we go. Our first box. I had to use purple, teal, pink, and yellow because those are the fourth anniversary colors for PUBG Mobile. In the top, I drew my own PUBG Mobile character. That's pretty good. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. It's beautiful on the top. That's my favorite part. It's like the, the light reflections that you added on there. That's really cool. I'm Thank impressed. You. Yeah, I'm impressed. That's good. What's happening with this box? All right. First thing I think of when I hear PUBG Mobile is a parachute. 
So I did a parachute on the top, and I turned the box into a parachute. Ah, okay. And a rubber ducky doing straight up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a creative risk. Do you think the risk paid off? That's to be determined. So for mine, I did the classic oh. PUBG Mobile welder mask. Obviously, I incorporated the fourth anniversary colors. Uh, the shading, yeah, the shading is, is incredible. Incredible. Thank you. I actually really like all the negative space. I did a neon PUBG Mobile character decorating on the sides mm -hmm. in the PUBG Mobile fourth anniversary colors, and I just put little X's on them because X marks the spot of all the goodies. Colin, we'll start with you. Pick your favorite one to send to the finals. This is a really tough decision, but I am going to go with Ben. Yes. Oh. Even though the sides were blank, the top was the most impressive to me. I'm going to go with Jake. Oh, interesting. The top of Jake's <laughs> is so nice. Interesting. Oh, I hate being this guy. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, Congrats to Jake and Ben. Congrats to Jake. I'm moving on. Yeah. yeah. You guys want to do it on your stories? Sure. Yeah. Okay. If one of you guys wants to take a picture of them side by side, you can put up the poll. Oh, we're doing this in real time? Yeah. Is there some... Jake wins. I'm going to hear it the entire car ride. What? No, I would not do that. Yes, you do. And then if you lose, you're like, there's gonna be so many Jake should have won comments. That, I do say that though. If there's any comments that say Ben should have won, I love you because that's the first time I've ever seen it. I love my fans and go spam the comments with Mackenzie yeah. everything. No, Mackenzie, no, I love you. no, Mackenzie, no. Won. Delete Everyone that text. Don't spam. Mackenzie. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. Samir, Colin, would you guys like to announce the results? The winner is. Wait, it's drum roll. Ben. Let's go! <laughs> what was the percentage? You don't want to know the percentage. <laughs> Are you ready to win some money, Ben? Yeah. All right, let's go play dodgeball. Ben's gonna play me in five rounds of dodgeball. Each round he wins, I'll give him a grand. Well, PUBG Mobile will give him a grand. I'm so nervous right now. All right, go. Nope. Oh, ah, let's go. One grand for Ben. Nope. Nope. Give me a ball. <laughs> nope. Oh. Yes, go! Two grand for Ben. I am losing pretty bad. Nope. No! Ready, go. Oh my. Jake, I'll give you a round. If you beat Ben, the grand is yours. <laughs> go! Oh! The battle of the roommates! Give me the ball! No! Yes. Jake, that grand is yours. Ben, you get two grand. Jake won 2.25 grand this video. You guys are both winners. The nice. roommates, we can buy things. We have four artists and four headphones. You have three hours to make the best custom headphones you can possibly make, and the winner will win up to $5,000. You may get started. We will have crazy challenges along the way. Jake, so if you do win this money, what are you gonna spend it on? Not too sure. $5,000 is definitely a lot of money. Lots of food. Maybe a laptop. I think I'm gonna buy myself some dinner tonight. A $5,000 dinner? Dinner over the course of the next few days. <laughs> my rent, my car Not loan, cool. <laughs> car insurance. I'm gonna go make it pink. Oh my gosh. This is going to take a lot of taping. I borrow the tape to... Just trying to steal my idea, but fine. There's nothing going to be better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> So right now I am sanding because I think it'll make um, a better surface for the paint markers. So I think it's working. The top three will be sent to gamers, unspeakable, typical gamer, and hyper. Jake, what are you planning on? Black as of now, probably start off with a little bit. You're gonna spray paint your black headphones black? Yes. I'm gonna make this beautiful headphones pink. And I'm gonna put little clouds on it afterwards. Do you think that the gamers will like it? Oh yeah, who doesn't like pink? I'm kinda just going for it right now, so I'm just winging it and see how it turns out. I am going to be painting some tigers online. Now keep painting. All right, I am ready to spray paint this. All right, artists, we are one hour in. We are gonna play a simple game of rock, paper, scissors. If you lose, you draw with your feet. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! 
You are drawing with your feet from now on. How am I supposed to do this whole other tiger like this? So right now Mackenzie is drawing with her feet, so she has a huge disadvantage. She thinks she's gonna have to hold it for the entire round, but it's only gonna be for 30 minutes. And after the 30 minutes, I'm gonna let her choose who has to draw with their feet next. <laughs> Michelle and Jake seem to be doing okay. They spray painted their headphones. It looks like they're gonna be painting over that, so I'm excited to see what they're gonna be doing for the next couple hours. Ben drew a hamburger on one side of the headphones. It looks absolutely amazing. I wonder what he's gonna do to the other side. And Mackenzie, she has a really, really good tiger so far, but once again, she's drawing with her feet, so I'm not sure how the other tiger is gonna turn out. <laughs> So I'm gonna go get a heat gun and hopefully my headphones will be ready to paint on. What is that? Oh, Michelle's boiling the spray paint. <laughs> I'm used to cooking things. Subscribe to Miss Munchie. How are your going? Good, I'm actually almost done taking the tape off. Yeah, I can't paint on it. Michelle, adding just a few extra layers of spray paint may have just cost you $5,000. What are you planning on doing with the other side? I think I might continue the food theme to this side. How's the tiger going? It was going great. And now it's going even better? Mm-hmm. There's an hour and 30 minutes left. Mackenzie, come with me outside. You're gonna flip a coin. If it lands on heads, you get to pass your punishment off to someone else. If it lands on tails, I'm gonna have one of them draw a streak through your tiger. No. <laughs> well, someone is going to be drawing a streak through your tiger. So Mackenzie just brought up something interesting. She said she'll jump in the pool if she paints with her hands. If you flip heads, you still get those streaks, but you don't have to jump in the pool. However, if you get tails, you don't get a switch, and you have to jump in the pool. <laughs> okay! <laughs> you get to pass it off to someone. Do you know who you're gonna pass it to? I called it. So for the other three artists, I need two of you to raise your hand right now. Ben and Michelle were first. Put a streak through Mackenzie's tiger. I'll add an extra tongue. It's a very cute tongue. So I get to choose someone to switch my foot painting thing. <laughs> Jake, I'm gonna so go with you. <laughs> Jake, I am so sorry. <laughs> However, to make this fair, I will also let you flip a coin. So if you land on tails, you draw with your feet. If it lands on heads, you can have anyone paint with their feet. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, but it looks like you are going to be painting with your feet. <laughs> I'll try to make it work somehow. Not gonna lie, my foot might smell. So here's how this is gonna work. You cannot write your own name, but you need to write one of these artists' name down. The artist with the most votes will get $100. One vote for Jake. One vote for Ben. Oh, it's another vote for Jake. And it's another vote for Ben! Jake and Ben, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Despite having to draw with your feet, at least you get $100. Yeah. Considering I might not have a chance at the $5,000 <laughs> anymore, I think the $100 is well worth it. Alright, Jake, come with me. So if you flip heads, you pass it on to one person. If you flip tails, you keep drawing with your feet. Goodbye, $5,000. <laughs> so right now, Jake is drawing with his feet, but I don't want any of you to feel left out. So we're playing another round of rock, paper, scissors. You lose, you draw with your feet. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ben, you are drawing with your feet. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> We have eight slips of paper, seven of them are blank. One of them has an X on it. If you draw the X, you are eliminated from the challenge. There is only one X in the entire thing. And Michelle is safe, Mackenzie is safe. Ben is safe, Jake. <laughs> I have never seen anyone so unlucky. Good news is you at least get your $100 and you get to keep the headphones you painted. But since you are eliminated, somebody has to paint with their feet. Mackenzie's going to get it. <laughs> Go back to painting with your feet. Three, two, one. We are officially done with this challenge. Michelle, tell us about your headphones. So mine is a pink with pink video game characters around it. So I painted a little watermelon on the bottom and a burger right there. And then I went for a little space theme on this side. I painted two tigers. One of them is orange and the other is pink, inspired by the box 
I also just incorporated a little tiger pattern on the side. So the person that will not make it to the final judging round, unfortunately, Michelle. Michelle, although your headphones are really, really cute, you're out. So we're gonna take an Instagram poll. The polls ended up being so close, it was 50-50. I looked at the numbers, 9,000 people voted. The winner won by five votes. The winner is... Ben! <laughs> Shake Mackenzie's hand, you literally won by five votes. For your prize, here's the coin. So each time you land on heads, that's a thousand dollars. You flip the coin five times. Oh! No! He's win some money! No! Oh yeah! That is a thousand dollars, Ben. No! So you got one out of five flips. That means you win a thousand dollars from this challenge. I just bought 500,000 Legos. We have five artists and each one of you will have six hours to make a Lego piece. Whoever wins has a chance to win up to $10,000 to split with a subscriber. Five grand goes to the subscriber you're paired up with. Five grand goes to you. Go! Whoever loses has to run a mile on Legos. Just kidding, I'm not that mean. You guys will have to stand in Legos for five minutes. Just curious, like, what's gonna be your strategy for today? I'm going to do the Earth, and I'm gonna make like an alien kind of like taking over it. Ooh! So what do you think you're gonna be making? A mansion? Oh. What are you making? Well, I see a lot of pinks and purples and blues, and that reminds me of a peacock. So I'm gonna do a peacock! Wait, I did a peacock last year. You did? Her main thing was a peacock, and she lost. What are you building? It's a llama on wheels. What's your plan for this? It can either be a turtle, dragon, it can be a house, a tree house, things that you make. And I can't build anything when you keep throwing everything. It's okay, I love you, Ben. I love you too. I'm having some really big doubts. I don't know if I can make a circular shape. Everyone, we have a little challenge. So, I made a little purple Lego structure, and the first person to replicate this exact thing wins. Okay, I think I'm done. You're done? What? Okay, everyone pause for one moment. Jeez, Ben! Let's go! Ben literally got a one of one replica. Everything's the exact same. All right, Ben, come with me. You have a couple advantages I'm gonna talk to you about. You get a total of three advantages. Choose one person and eliminate one color. You can change someone's topic into anything you want. Funny. And number three, get to add someone to your team for 30 minutes. Ooh, okay. Okay, this is all Ben's made. I'm gonna hide it in a different pile, so he has to do some digging. Wait, what the flip? Did you take what it, Jack? Take what? My dragon! Jazz is smiling right now, where is it? I'm not smiling! I'm not smiling! Can you come forward now? I'll be nice. Come forward to what? Don't break. Please don't break. Uh, it looks like it was closest to Michelle. Uh, was it Jazz? It was Jazz. What? It was Your you. snake! I got three advantages, so my first advantage was to change someone's topic. Jake, I want you to make the statue of liberty. <laughs> this is my first time using Lego since I was like five and you're doing this to me? I can't believe you've done this. My second advantage is to eliminate a color. Jazz, that tree house that you're gonna make, you can't use green. Oh, so Jazz was the one who did your project and you just hit me with the atom bomb? Okay, and now for your third one. My third one is someone just has to help me for 30 minutes. Ken? Oh, hey, hey, Michelle's safe. Yay! If I somehow win any of these challenges, I will be attacking Ben profusely with full force. I found this really cool book full of Lego creations. If any of you guys want to take a look for inspiration, it'll be right here. Oh my gosh, these pieces are gorgeous. I'm gonna try and see if I can find a flamingo. Falling apart. Working on the base to my Statue of Liberty, and usually I would say I think it's gonna turn out really good, but this time I'm not so sure. We are doing a craft challenge right now, and we are making sculptures out of Legos. So if I win, you have the chance to win up to ten thousand dollars for us together. So we would split that. Right now, I am making a dragon. Show well, don't worry. Show them the head. Oh. Uh, oh. 
They don't stand a chance against you. See? Exactly. What? This is what I have so far, so we're not making that much progress. All right, everyone, I have a little challenge for you guys. Outside, I have a ramp. Each one of you has five minutes to build a Lego car. You guys are gonna roll it down the ramp. Whoever gets the furthest gets to assign someone 100 push-ups. Whoever gets the least amount of distance has to do 100 push-ups. Jake, I'm gonna leave you in charge of making sure everyone does real push-ups. Zach is not feeling very well, so we headed out. Feel better, brother. I'm gonna take over your spot. Everyone has five minutes. Twelve seconds later. Wow. Jake, you are the winner to this challenge. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is that Mackenzie has 100 <laughs> Because you keep stealing all my grades. You're shooting red. This is why you're always supposed to be a good sport and you cheer for the winner so they don't pick you for punishment. We're done! I figured out what I'm doing. I have a little bee creature that I'm working on. Okay, I'm done. Joke's on Jake because I forgot to yeah. put deodorant on this morning. Hi, I'm Zachary, it's me again. So, I wanted to let you guys know that we have another challenge right now, so. All artists will have two minutes to build the tallest structure. Whoever has the tallest structure will win an advantage. And it has to stand up. Yes, it has to stand if it falls over, it doesn't count. Three, two, one, start! Yeah, Mackenzie definitely yeah. won. You get to choose one artist to not be able to use a specific type of piece in any color that you want. You have to look at everybody's first. Ben <sighs> cannot use any of these. And with that, all of you can continue working. My apologies, everyone. I have a headache. Oh, but it's okay, we have a video to film. Hey, where's the rest of your Statue of Liberty? It's coming. Is there any way you're gonna finish? Probably not. Are you making like the pyramids or something? Wait, what? That's actually not too bad. I have a... What's going on? Where is everything? I have a start of them multiple times. Hang on, real quick. Can't use green. Whoa, Ben. Ladies and gentlemen, step on up. You guys have to replicate this, but this time it's even harder. And whoever replicates this first, uh -huh. let's we'll just say you, you, you want to be able to replicate this. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Raise your hand when you're done. If it's not the exact same, I'm destroying it. All right, everyone stop for a second. What the heck, Ben? <laughs> it's literally perfect. Whoa. No, no, no I don't want to go in there. Everyone good. step away from your piece. You get one. Hard whack. You can whack it as hard as you want. Michelle, do you want to stand your toes? No. Michelle, I was gonna say, yours was looking really good. Alright, man, one swing. Oh, oh, that was so close. So, Ben brutally murdered Felicia. I'm trying to rebuild her wing, but he hit my flamingo so hard I can't find any of the pieces again. One minute. Ben, tell me about your dragon. It's inspired by a Chinese dragon. Do you know I'm Chinese, Ben? <laughs> yes. I, I, I feel like you could have worked on the face a little bit more. Try. So what happened with uh, Mackenzie's um, dragon head? It looked so good. It broke? Oh. Hell. 
Uh, but I feel like the body looks really nice. It, if anything, Jake, get out. You may stand outside. I'll call you back in when it's your turn. Very nice, Ben. He's a great guy. Whoa. Exactly Are those chips? Is. Tell me about your piece. This is my bumblebee. I, I really like your idea for the wings. What's up with the teeth? <laughs> it was hungry. Interesting take. Good job, Jazz. Michelle, first of all, tell me about this. Ben destroyed my piece, but I you know, worked hard, so I recovered Felicia the Flamingo. And I had so much time left over that I made her a little friend. I, I really like your your main pico. I'm surprised it's still standing. It's a flamingo. <laughs> I think it looks very cute. The the colors are on point, so good job. Are you Okay Mackenzie, tell me about what's going on here. So I made a mansion. And this is not an ordinary mansion because it just got attacked by a meteor. Oh, very nice. I think I would have liked to see a little bit more of the fire aspect. Can I wear your glasses in your hat? If anything, you could have even like grabbed a ton of red Legos and just like tossed them in the house. Ben, can you take care of that? Amazon package. Get up! I can explain it for him. All right, Jake, tell me about your piece. Jake, get in here. <laughs> All right, Jake, tell me about your piece. You were told by Ben to do the Statue of Liberty. Yes. The bottom looked really nice. It looked like you were actually starting to get some fabric texture, which which I was really impressed by. I was really trying. Every video, you have a big ambitious idea and you can never complete it. Hold up, hold up. This was not my idea. With that being said, Jake, nonetheless, still an impressive piece. Now, we will start eliminating. Jazlyn, unfortunately, you're eliminated. The next person I'm gonna have to eliminate. Sorry, Michelle, you're eliminated. Good job, Michelle! <laughs> Jake, not gonna lie, even though it's not complete, the, the bottom and like the midsection do look really good. Here's what's gonna happen. You will each be able to take a picture. Actually, actually looking at it again. What? I, I think I'm gonna have to go with Ben. Congrats, Ben, you win! <laughs> All right, cool, Ben. Well, you're about to win up to 10 grand to split with a subscriber. And the rest of you, yes! Lego time! Yes! Oh! So here's how this is gonna work. You can win a total of 10 grand that just split 50-50 with your subscriber. So over here, I have five Lego bricks. Each Lego brick you get in that pool of Legos over there is $1,000 for you and $1,000 for Vito. You can put them together if you want. For example, if I put two of them together and I make it, that's $2,000 for you, $2,000 for Vito. Do whatever you want with these. So much pressure. Kobe! That's a grand for you, a grand for Vito. Kobe! Yeah. Wait, is this easy or something? I, I thought this was going to be hard. Kobe! That means I still won 6,000, right? Yes. Yay! Yeah. <laughs>